Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change Divi's menu background color on each page. So there might be cases where you would like your menu on certain pages to be different from other pages. So this tutorial will show you step by step how to achieve that. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we manage to achieve this. In order for us to make the background color of the Divi menu different on every page, we're going to need to make some changes using some CSS code. Now, if you'd like to follow along, I've also included the link to the page that has all the CSS code in the show notes below. Okay, so let's jump over. Let's go into our website and uh, let me show you how to do this. So I'm already logged in here into my WordPress uh, dashboard. So I'm going to come all the way down here to my theme customizer. So in the theme customizer, just go into your header and navigation, header format, and just make sure that you're using the default style. Okay, so I'm going to go back and now I need to go into the primary menu bar. So over here in our primary menu bar, you need to decide what sort of color palette you're going to use. So if you're going to make the menu area dark, you need to make sure that your text color is light. And, and again, if your text color is going to be dark, your, your menu color, your background color for the menu area needs to be light. So in our case, we chose a dark color palette. Now, if you haven't chosen your color palette uh, yet, there are some resources online where you can uh, go ahead and uh, create your color palettes. We've also included a resource that we use to create our color palette in in this tutorial so you can see it over there on our post okay so here we are sure that we're going to be using a dark background color for our menu area so we're going to go ahead with a light uh, with a light color for the text in fact I'm just gonna go for a white color so I'll just drag these all the way to the top and just make sure that I choose white so you can see here our text color for our menu area is going to be white and that's why it disappeared here okay now that we've got that out of the way let's go ahead and save and publish so I'm just gonna close that and now I'm gonna go over to the page that I need to make uh, the change to so I'm gonna click on all pages so let's start off with page one so I'm gonna click on edit so what we need to do now is to enter the CSS code. So the area to enter the CSS code is over here, right here, where we have this hamburger icon. So click on this hamburger icon. Okay, so this is the area that we need to add our custom CSS. So I'm just going to paste it in here. Now, when you grab this code from, um, from our post, you can always go in here and change this and customize it to your brand colors. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save. So now let's take a look at uh, the page and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. And then I'm going to view the page in a new tab. So now you can see that we have this color in the background. Okay, so if you go to page two, you can see that this is still white. Now let's do this one more time on a different page. So let's come over here to page two. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edit the page. Come over here to the hamburger icon, click in there. And now we have our area for the CSS. Now I'm gonna paste the colors, but this time I'm gonna choose this red. So I'm gonna copy this hexadecimal color and just replace this with it like that and then save now if all works very well we should see a different background color for this so I'm gonna open this again in a new tab and now you can see that we have red for page 2 and then if we go to page 1 we also have a different color now let's do something even more interesting. Let's add a secondary menu bar. So let's come over here back uh, in our dashboard and let's go over to the theme options. So what we need to do in the theme options here is to just make sure that your social media icons are enabled and also you have the links to your social media icon uh, to your social media profiles. Now in my case, I don't have the links. We've just added some blank links so because this is just for demo purposes only so once you've got all that set up just go ahead and save so now let's go over to the theme customizer so in the theme customizer we need to go into header navigation and click on secondary menu bar
So this is where you need to decide what your secondary uh, menu, uh, menu bar color needs to be. So you can always just go in here in the background color and then select the color. Okay, so for now, I'll just go ahead and choose this red and making sure that your text color is set to uh, white because that's very important. I'm gonna go ahead and save and publish. So let's go back and then we're gonna come over here to the uh, header elements and we need to make sure that we've got um, show social icons checked because this is what's gonna show the social icons. So if you want, you can always go ahead and add your phone number and email address. So for now, I'm just gonna click on save and publish. So if we come over here to our page and just refresh, we can see here that uh, we have this secondary bar and we also have our social media icons. Okay, so let's style these. So if you recall, we went on each and every page and added the custom color for the menu area. So what we need to do is to override that CSS code with this new code that um, we have. So I wanna go back into edit page and I'm also gonna go back on this. Now I'm gonna highlight this and then delete it and paste this new code. Okay, so this allows us to uh, add some styling to our icons. So I'm gonna go ahead and save, update the page, and then we're gonna view the page. Okay, so we can see here it's not done yet. So finally, we need to add some CSS code site-wide. So to add the CSS code, we need to come over here to DV theme options, Scroll all the way down until you find custom CSS. And then this is where we're gonna add this CSS. I'm gonna click on save changes. And now if I go to my page and refresh, we can see now that our social media icons now are in this color, which is pretty cool. So now if we take a look at our pages, we can see that page two has this background color, which I've just added. And then if we go to page one, it has a different color. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.